peace and the mercy and blessings of God be with you. Assalamu alaikum and Ramadan Mubarak. May God make this a blessed month for you and for all of your loved ones. Uh, this is part of our Ramadan uh, series dealing with 30 days, 30 traits, uh, how to be a better you, 30 days to a better you. 30 little things we can fix one at a time, one day at a time, uh, improving ourselves so that by the end of the month, we emerge better. So for today, uh, we are looking at uh, how to make the life hereafter a, a conscious reality in our, in our lives. Why is this important? Have you ever wondered if, uh, you know, there is a life after death? Uh, sometimes even a believer could wonder. And, uh, uh, you know, when we think about it from a philosophical point of view, we realize that it has to be a life after death because look at uh, the situation around us. Sometimes uh, people get away with uh, doing wrong things. How can this be fixed? If, if, if it is a fact that people do actually get away with wrong things, wouldn't that be, be an incentive to do more wrong? Immanuel Kant, the famous philosopher, actually thought that this uh, uh, means that, uh, it, you know, the belief in the life hereafter is beneficial, at least in this way, uh, that it uh, curves uh, people's uh, inclination towards uh, sin and, and wrongdoing. In fact, uh, he thought that this is where the categorical imperative lies, uh, that we ought to do what is right. Uh, um, and, and if there was not a life hereafter, then this life would not make uh, any sense. So how can we make that, though, a living uh, reality in our own lives as we go, to day, go through our day-to-day -day existence, dealing with physical and material things that are here and now uh, that are tangible? Um, how can we relate to this life hereafter that is not here and now and not tangible? Well, let's uh, first look into the Quran to see how important it is that we believe in the life hereafter. The Quran, for example, in Surah 2, uh, verse number 4, describes uh, the believers as those who uh, They are certain of uh, the life hereafter. And uh, in the same surah, in the 46th uh, verse, uh, the Quran describes uh, the believers as uh, uh, those who are uh, looking forward to uh, meeting God and, uh, and, and returning to God. Uh, those who are looking forward to meeting with God and, uh, and, and looking forward to um, returning to him. Uh, so we see that this uh, belief in the life hereafter is actually th mentioned throughout the Quran. Again and again, uh, the Quran describes uh, the saved people as those who believe in God uh, and in the life hereafter, believing in God, believing in the life hereafter, believing in God, believing in the life hereafter. So we uh, as Muslims need to and make sure that we cultivate that belief in our own lives, the belief in the life hereafter. And people wonder, are, are we going to resurrect uh, from the dead after our bones have, uh, you know, um, our, our flesh has rotted and we have been reduced to bones and all of that? Will we really be resurrected from the dead? The 36th chapter of the Quran uh, towards the end actually assures us that uh, God will do exactly that. Uh, people are wondering, you know, uh, what's, what will happen when, you know, our, even our bones have crumbled to, to dust. Uh, would we then be resurrected? And God says, uh, uh, Say, God is the one who is going to bring it back to life uh, it, it, again after he has given it life for the first time. And God says, think about the things uh, that that uh, from which you kindle fire, like you you start you you rub your stick against uh, uh, a rock and and you produce fire. Where does the fire come from? It's not in the stick. It's not in the rock. But but God, you know, God's system is like that that it produces this this fire. Uh, so what about uh, you know the soul? Where is it? Uh, but, but God can can make that happen. Where is the life uh, in in this dead body? There is no life, but God can give it life. Uh, just as he brings about the fire from the rubbing of stick against stone. So in many different ways, the Quran cultivates uh, in us that belief in the life hereafter. So finally, how can we develop that trait starting this month of Ramadan and maintaining it forever? Well, little ways. One, 
uh, is uh, to be aware, for example, when we're fasting, that we're fasting because this is part of our trial uh, to be successful in the life hereafter. The 67th chapter of the Quran uh, at the beginning says that God is the one who created al mawta wal hayata liyabluwakum. He created the death and life in order to test you. Ayyukum ahsan wa amala. Who is best in their conduct? And here we're doing something for the pleasure of God. We are seeking the life hereafter. But we should be conscious of that, that we're making our life hereafter um, set right. Uh, when we do our prayers and we recite Maliki Yawmid Deen, uh, owner of the day of judgment, we're referring to God as the controller and the owner of the day of judgment. Here too, we have our mind uh, on the life hereafter. Uh, when we read the Quran more generally, pay attention to the uh, multiple verses that uh, describe paradise and verses that describe the fire of hell. Uh, when we think about all of these and we ponder over it, as the Quran tells us, Quran, do they not ponder the Quran? So when we ponder about this, when we think about it, then the, the life hereafter will become a reality in our lives. We will start uh, imagining how it will be in paradise. We start imagining the scenarios that are there in the life hereafter. And while we cannot take these descriptions uh, absolutely li literally, it gives us a mental image. And, and that mental image will help us uh, to, at times uh, to uh, do what is right and to avoid the sins. So when we think about the uh, limited nature of this life and we realize that sometimes people get away with murder in this life, and we think about the life hereafter as the time when everything will be set right and justice will be done, then bringing that into our own minds as a conscious reality uh, as we go through our lives uh, day in and day out, uh, every moment of the day if possible. Uh, is, uh, I mean, we're human beings, we'll forget, we'll slip up, but keeping that reality in our lives will help us to stay on the straight and narrow because we know that there is an ultimate goal. This life is not the end of it, but we're looking forward to that life hereafter. So that's uh, our topic for today, uh, uh, part of our series on 30 Days to a Better You, today focusing on the life hereafter and how to bring that as a conscious reality in our lives. Thank you for watching. Peace be with you. Ramadan Mubarak. Our videos reach people all over the world. We hope you will seize the opportunity to share in the reward from God. Please support us today.